People using Google Docs can now use different headers and footers on the first pages of their documents, which comes in handy for following academic formatting guidelines, such as MLA, CMS, or APA, or maybe just making a title page without headers or footers. After inserting a header or footer in your document, you'll see a new checkbox. Tick it, and you'll be able to set a different header and footer on the first page. Let's go ahead and demonstrate this. So I have pulled up an example research paper, and you can all see that from what we were used to doing, we have to start doing this running head, putting that practical application paper title on the top there, and then in subsequent pages we'd have to do something different. Now, if I was doing this formatting wise in Google Docs before, if I insert a header or a footer, it would put it on all subsequent pages. So what we can do is we can just go ahead and let's say for example, we're just going to cut this piece and we're going to delete the rest of this. Now I'm going to go up to insert. I'm going to go down to where it says header. You'll notice that a new little box here. If I select that, I can do a different first page header. So up at the top here, I can go ahead and paste that what I had before. Now if I go down to my second page, you'll notice that the second page does not have that exact same header. If I go ahead and click inside here, I can do whatever I want. So for example, I'm just going to tab over and I'm just going to write data collection. Just make sure I'm in the same font. So we got Times New Roman. Select that. And now what I've done is I've created that second header that's just a little bit different than my first one. So I have data collection here. If I go up to the top, you'll see here is my practical application paper header that I put up top. Now if I have already created this instance, what I can do is go ahead and deselect this box. When I do that, you'll notice that the first one goes away in that upper left corner and it has taken on the property of my second one that I created on page two. Click it again and it now allows me to go back and actually put into whatever I want. In that case, that's that practical application paper header and I can go from there. So the same thing is going to apply for footers where you can do custom and unique headers and footers on page one and then all subsequent pages something different.